banana guy slash these guys, the audience, and have a big clap for Penny. Yay, Penny. <laughs> and let's get started with Glober. All right, and Glober is a mixel. Yeah, you first you are going to take this, then this and this. Oh, it does come with the instruction manual. Then we do that, and then that. And but then you put the teeth on, and we are, and this is a part of his mouth. And then we put this here. I already finished these guys, so I know what they look like. Mm -hmm. And then you put this bit of teeth facing the same way. But then there's something weird. He has skin in his mouth. Oh my gosh. That's weird. First, and we did test it out in the closet afterwards, and it does glow. Yes. But just the eyeball. Yes. Nothing else. And we were really, really hoping with that our I minifigure that we would get which guy? Banana! And which one did we get? Banana! Banana! And this is his costume. His we got banana. banana yo business. Banana yo business. Banana yo business. Oh, and we should build a minifigure first since this is a lot. Super quick. First, you take its body and its head. It sure is plain. Mm-hmm. Then you stick his head on. Then you just blue pants. And then you take the banana costume, stick it on, and he's a banana. This is good practice for your new Lego league you're going to be in. Yes. And then you put him in his basement. Woohoo! Banana, banana! Tell us about your Lego league. What's that all about? Um, it's where we get challenged <sighs> on another team. Challenged by another team to come up with something creative yeah. and build it? Yes. And we have robot. different themes, robot, and when we get close to the end, we're going to do mechanical moving Legos. Oh my gosh. We can build robots. That is awesome. I'm going to make one that can shoot missiles. <gasps> that would like be Lego so cool. Missiles. That would be super like, awesome. Bling. Like, it can attack other robots, like, bling, bling. <laughs> And I would also build a little target for it to shoot the missile. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, uh, yeah. what's that one on TV? Robot Wars or whatever? Yeah. No, I don't know how much battery we have, so if this cuts and out, then, we apologize. Yes. And then you do that and that. I'm okay, gonna... it's coming together nicely. Let's keep rolling. And then you take this in this bar and put it on. Mm. But then, put that on, mm. then you take the two of these and put them on. And then they're facing upward, like that. And then we take this, and put that on. Then you put this on, which is the glow in the dark part. Let's mm -hmm. go in the closet and see the glow. We'll do that after, let's get it all. And this is the part that glows. As you can see, it's kind of neon white. Yep. But then you take this to make sure that little white dot is up in the, is facing up on, in the corner. And see, right there, it's pointing at it. It says day, normal brick, but night. See, it's glowing. Yeah. And then 11 is what we have right now. Looks like it's coming together pretty good. And then we take this again. Then we take the same work again. And then we take that and that. And do that. And we'll and this is the and those are where you stick the that's where you stick the feet on. Yeah. These are what the feet are going to be on. And I really hope it doesn't cut off on you guys. Because if it cuts off, we'll need to do a second part. That's all right. We'll just get what we get for now. It's yeah. almost You're almost at the five-minute mark now, so I'm going to move a little quicker. And then you put that there. And then put that there. Well, talking faster is not what we need. Just getting it clipped together quicker. So we need to 
and push that down harder. It's definitely good practice though for all your all your Lego skills you're gonna need. Whoa, let me get that guy. Have you talked to Wesley about it at school at all? No. No? Is he still in your class or is he in a different class? He's still in my class. But you haven't talked about it? Don't worry about it. Then after that you put this on. Then if you put this on, it's mouth. That's da, awesome. Da, da. Okay, keep moving. He's not done yet. And then, you take these, make sure they're sideways like that, side to side. Yeah. That's right. But then, you can take his gigantic wings and put them on. Those wings are gigantic. Now he's like, Aah! As soon as he get his feet on, he'll be even more fierce. And here's the part where he started making his feet. Then you take this, put it there, and put that there and that there. But then there's something that you wouldn't expect. This. And then put that like that and stick his foot on. That's his foot. Put his foot down. But then we need to make another one of these. We'll just rebuild it. And build the same thing all over again. If you couldn't remember enough. Or at least. Uh, and those are the little nails. That's what the foot looks like. Final touches. Just gotta clip that other foot on and we're good to go. Yep, there. There he is. And what's his name? Globert. Hold him up on your hand so you can see him. Globert, and he is a Mixel, and he is Series 4, I believe. Yeah. And I thought we had got him before, but I guess last time that was Vampiro. Yeah. Or Vampress. Thanks, his name. Yeah. Yeah. But now I just thought we needed a quick, quick soul Mixel picker upper. Pumpkin thing, which we're going to review after I build the random. You might run out of time, though. That's random. And now, look at it. If you put it on. So scary. And this is watermelon, apple, and blue raspberry. And it's delicious. And the blue raspberry is the strongest. And this Gatorade, mixed with this, tastes great. Yeah, and it's, what, is that cherry, white cherry or something? No, it's your favorite kind. It's a it's a care package for being such a good big brother. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Mm -hmm. We had a good mm -hmm. review today. Mm -hmm. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye bye bye. Beep, beep, bop, beep, bop.